you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures too. Thank you for making me a father today. Hi! Egunga, ite sili nako. Egunga, ite sili nako. Egunga, ite sili nako. Egunga, ite sili nako. Who am I? The royal bed is always heralded by the gods. Because of our land, the prince of this land is born. Oh, gods of our land, thank you for the newborn baby. Guide, protect him, and bless him. <laughs> oh, Beluso, my king, who is this young man? Warriors brought him here and said that he's a hunter from Ago Kingdom. Young man, is that true? Yes, you do. Are you aware that your people and my people are bloody enemies and no one from your kingdom comes into this kingdom and leaves alive? I'm sorry. I didn't even know when I crossed the boundary. Just okay, my bad. I'm from. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Unfortunately, I will not forgive you. I will do to you what your people has done to a large number of my people who mistakenly stepped into your kingdom during hunting. I swear by the gods, I shall spill your blood. God, get me my way. you as a sacrifice to the gods of this land by sunrise tomorrow. Take him behind the house and tie him
you be run back to your kingdom. Run as fast as your feet can carry you. Because where are you? Is you where will I follow? When the guards of Yi took me to the palace, I was shocked to see somebody that looked like Yi as their new king. Yi Jie came. Oh, what did you say, Yi Jie? Ofu di anya, ofu di mi, ofu do. Oko kaba kulo ba, Yi Jie. Chalo kwa o. Madoka. You said their king looked like Yi Jie came. Almost didn't came or they can now long long. The same king. That asked the guards to take me to the backyard and tie me. The same person came out late in the night and asked me to, to leave. The king asked you to go. Yeah, Go to the palace. Call the queen, the princess, and all the cabinet members in the present. Tell them to come. That I have a word for them before I join my ancestors. Okay, da. Ah. Okay. Also, also, also. I have a confession to make. Would you go? Go. What is it? EJ is a man and not a woman. Huh? His real name is Nkema Konam. EJ is Ifezu's son. The man that was falsely accused and killed alongside his wife. I saved the boy because of the vision I had that same day Ifezue and his wife were killed. I was behind my heart and suddenly Who are you? So you don't remember me? No. I am Aguye, the old man who visited you years ago when your father died and told you about your destiny as a herbalist. Oh, now I remember you. It's been a long time. Welcome. Let me get you a seat. Oh no, I'm in a hurry. I have a message for you. If Ezra and family are innocent, and the Lord falls from the sun to replace you at old age as a herbalist, so go and save the boy from being killed. A time shall come when many kingdoms will be struck by strange illness. The solution the remedy will be revealed to only the boy. 
So go and save it. When I got there, Let's go. brought him home and disguised him as a woman to avoid suspicion so that he would be able to accomplish his mission. I hid the truth from him so that he will not go against his people. I told him that, that his parents offended the gods. Ije is alive, and presently the king of Iyi kingdom. I'm sorry. Because... I said it! Oduka, Oduka, no, no, no. I said it! That the person I saw was a replica of Ije. I'm sorry. Because he asked me to leave. Nandeli. I'm sorry. I meant no harm. Now why did he leave for to be the king of I suspect he has discovered the truth and seeks revenge. It is obvious that the solution to our problem in this kingdom lies for the sun. But how do we go about it? He has to come back to this kingdom first before anything can be done. Someone must go there and tell him that my health is very bad. That is the only thing that can bring him back. That could be dangerous. It could be dangerous. I'll go. Huh? This is the only message that can bring you back.
and good people of Aku I am doing this because of the law. I have this. Yes, I did not return. Please, tell my father that I love him so much. And I appreciate all he has done for me. My son, may the God of Agopi take you there and give you back. Ancestors guide you. May the gods protect you. Where are you and where are you going to? I'm from this kingdom. Going to shake my trap. Let me see your back. Huh? Show us your back. What are you doing here? <gasps> to enjoy ZJ flesh and blood. Oh, I also want to tell you that Da is dying. She requested that she must see you before she joined her for father. Hey! 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 I have a promise for you. I will ensure you will not leave to tell your people how you came into this land. No, don't do this. I beg you. Don't. Hey, shut your silly mouth! Get me your blues off. Bang him up! Loser. My king. Untie him. My king. I said untie him. Oh. 
Obuluzo. Yes, my king. I am EJ. My king! Um, EJ, what exactly is happening? Huh? I am coming. Be back. Bobuluzo, your lips are sworn to silence. Let's go. Let's go. You're a man. You made me believe that you're a woman. <laughs> and you're now married to another woman. EJ. EJ. You know how much I love you. And how much I wish to be your wife. Even when I thought you were a woman, you've forgotten all we shared. You got married to another woman. How could you? My princess. I am sorry. I never knew my parents were innocent of the crime they were killed for. So I was afraid. I was afraid if I reveal who I am, I might be killed. I'm sorry. Eddie, <laughs> not when they see you as a cure to this court that was threatening to wipe away the people. It's obvious. You value what you feel for her than what we have. But just know that I love you so much. My whole life belongs to you. I can live with another man so long as you are alive.
ngajeng. You said you wanted to tell us something, but you are silent. Talk to us. We are all ears. If we can even have for bar, bar. There is nothing the eyes will see. I shed blood. Neither will the ear hear anything that will make you stop hearing. So talk to your people. My elders. What I want to say to you now will sound very, very strange. I am not an indigenous of this kingdom. I am from Ago Kingdom. My princess, your food is ready. My princess, I said your food is ready. My princess, my princess, get out. Hmm? I said, get out. Aweli, I've not seen you like this. What is it that worries you, makes you cry? 
Using the things to eat and act aggressive. Why? What happened? Mother, I love him so much. I can't live without him. I can't take any other man as my husband. Who? EJ. EJ. But I love him so much. Oh no, all is not well. The princess has refused to eat. What? She cried all through the night and even attempted suicide. What? Why? She says she loves EJ. That EJ is the only man she has true feelings for and can take as a husband. She hmm. says she will kill herself or remain single if EJ did not marry her. Please, uh, I'm begging you, no. Look for a means to send message across to EJ. We need his assistance in this issue. Please. Hey, huh? This is a serious matter. Very, very serious, oh it no. It is a serious matter. Yes. Um. Nichi Ekanemono. It is no longer a secret that I am from Ago Kingdom and now the king of Iye Kingdom. I want you to understand that I did not mean to complicate matters. No. Before I left my fatherland, I already made up my mind that I'm going to live in Iye Kingdom as a native of Iye Kingdom. But recent happenings has made me remember that it is my destiny to unite the two kingdoms. And I cannot stand against my destiny. Ah! So here I am. Here I am. Asking for nothing but peace so that I can effectively and efficiently render my services to the two communities without obstacle. It only calls for reasoning and understanding. Hey! Your Highness, my king, with due respect, you have just spoken abomination. What you have just voiced out is a taboo. Arrow. And I hope our ancestors will not hear this one. <laughs> My king, what you're asking for will not be possible. This is for the fact that the people of Yi and the Ago Kingdom separated a very long time ago and agreed that nothing we ever unite us. We will not have anything in common. Even our ancestors, our forefathers, and even our fathers kept their own side of the agreement. Yes. And this must not be destroyed in our own time. Your Majesty, I was the only who did not castle in our late king. And now the only one who of this kingdom. And uh, an heir that does not stay at home and watch the she goat deliver in his theater. Okay, I don't know. No. It will be honorable. So, my king, you can see, as you can see, our hands are tied. We cannot concede the fact that we're supposed to uphold the sacred sanctity of the kingdom of Eve. My elders, Hello. I hope I have spoken your mind. You have said it all. Hello, you have spoken well. Who are we to change the agreement our forefathers had with the people of Ago Kingdom? Huh? Okay, cool, Mumme. Bad enough. Uncle Mumme. 
Well, my elders, I've heard you. You all have spoken well. Then I want you to understand that if this is your stand on this matter, then I am left with no other option than to go back to my fatherland. My killer. Yes. Mm, and that will not be without my beloved, traditionally married queen, Oledo, and my son. My king, must we commit this great sacrilege against our kingdom? I give you only but two market days to reconsider your stand on this matter. Two market days. Igwe. Igwe. No, no, no. My head has leaving. I love you. I love you too. You are my first love. And my love and emotions for you will never die. Just that uh, I am married. And I do not wish to be an immoral king. Again, okay. then marry me. I'm sure it's not an abomination for a king to have more than one wife. I don't mind being a second wife, provided you're with me. Okay, I love you. And I can't live without you. My love, I love you too. And I promise you, by the gods, I will marry you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Lolo. I am not doing what I am doing because I think I have an edge over some people. No. But because my hands are tied. From the depth of my heart, I love Ole Edo as much as I love Awele. I love the two women and I love the two kingdoms and hold them to a high esteem. And I cannot turn my back on any. The only option we have here is to unite the two kingdoms. And the best way to achieve that is getting married to the two princesses. I have to. For peace and unity to reign, I have to. Law, law, please. I don't want you to say this situation as a conspiracy against the throne of Iye Kingdom. 
But this is my destiny before the existence of my father. Excuse me. So tell me, what are your plans? If your people refuse to make peace with my people, then we have no option than to go back to my kingdom. What do you mean, we? Are you not my wife? Or do you expect me to go back to my kingdom without my wife and my son? And how will he? I will marry her. What? Kimakonam. What really is your mission in my life and in this kingdom? What? I am your husband. I am your helper. I am your king. Olam, what is happening is not my making but the wish of the gods. A mission ordained even before I was born that I will carry out. I love you. I love you very much. And I love Aweli too. But the point remains that Aweli is my first love. And I can't, I cannot turn my back on her. <coughs> if I fail to marry her, I'm afraid she might kill herself. And my father's kingdom will fall. Please, I beg you. I beg you in the name of the gods. This decision will not be too easy for you to accept. But for the sake of peace and love, please. I beg you. Please. Never. Never. I will never allow you to bring another woman into this family. Never. I only ask for peace. I only ask for oneness and unity. Tell me, is that too much of a thing to ask for? What is it that your kingdom have achieved, which you are afraid of losing if the two kingdoms should come together? Maybe you don't know. Iye Kingdom and Ago Kingdom are brothers. Our ancestral father gave birth to two sons, Aki and Obani. The people of Obani are still living together as one kingdom in peace, progressing. But out of greed, Jealousy, disunity. The sons of Agiye could not share what their father left for them in peace, and they separated and became blood enemies since then. Tell me, how long will this enmity last?
All I know, this is our chance. This is our only chance to bring peace and unity between these two kingdoms. Please, don't say no. I beg you in the name of the gods, don't say no. It's not easy for me to accept the fact that I will have to share my husband with another woman. You don't know how it feels. I do. Please, no price is too much to pay for the sake of love. Unity. I beg you. I can't pay this price. I cannot. Oh no. My princess. I'm a daughter of the king and the queen of this kingdom. Yes, no doubt about it. Therefore, I have rights over some issues concerning this kingdom in the yes. absence of my husband, the king. Yes, 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 true. The king only demanded for peace. Making war and being enemies to the people of Agu kingdom has never benefited this kingdom. But if you want to remain, obstinate about it then I have no choice I have to move with my husband yes I've made up my mind to allow the king marry her Willie yes that is my decision excuse me My love, I had everything you discussed with you now. Thank you. I can't imagine living without you. You can get as many wives as you want. As long as you're here with me, I can't live without you. I love you, my wife. I love you very much. Thank you. I love you too. Okay. Thank you. I love you so much. My people, Joe Fogg. Oh no. One thing is very clear in this matter. We need this young man. Just as his kingdom, Ago people need him also. The implication of outrightly refusing his. Uh, Submissions means that he might decide to do what? To leave us and go back to Agri Not only going back alone, but we will go back with his legitimate wife Banana. and son. Banana, no. You're not saying Banana. We need them for you. Now, look at the matter. Hmm? We might go ahead and crown another king. Go. But how are we sure we will be privileged to select such a, a, a powerful, wise, dynamic king? Eh? I don't want us to take a decision that will make it look as if we are, we are willingly throwing away this rare opportunity given to us by the gods. 
Now look at it from all angles. Who is losing? And for your information, as I'm talking to you now, Queen Akweze and her daughter, the princess, Oledo, eh? I am no longer on our side. You don't mean it. What? That is the correct position of things now. So, as you can see now, we are sitting on a cake of gunpowder. It is memorable that this event is taking place on this three part way. This is a symbol of peace and unity between Ago and the Yi. Ensure you keep it well to continuously remember this day. <laughs>